Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be talking about classes again. This is the third video on classes and we are going to be talking about something called subclasses and inheritance. So if you watched the conceptual video, if it's out, I talked about or I will talk about how nature actually is a whole bunch of classes, right? So like for example, a tree uh, there's lots of different, like different types of trees, right? Like uh, birch, fern, oak, pine cone, not pine cone. I think it's just called a pine tree. You know, you get you get the gist of it, right? There's lots of. They're not technically the children of a tree, but they're like a subgenre of a tree. In the same way, what we're gonna do is you don't want to just make a cookie class. You want to make a brownie class, a cake class. All of these different types of classes but they all share some of the same attributes and methods as a pastry they're all similar right so their parent class is going to be pastry so I've changed everything now to be called pastry instead of cookie and I'm going to show you how we can make child classes or subclasses of this pastry and it's really simple okay let's say we want to make a cookie class out of this pastry but we also want to add two more ingredients baking soda and chocolate bars so to inherit all you have to do is this class of pastry means it's not inheriting anything meaning that it's most likely going to be the parent but if you see cookie parentheses and then something that something in here is the parent so this is the parent and this is the child this is the parent this is the child okay now when you do this this is basically saying okay the cookie class shares all of the same attributes and methods as the pastry class okay so let's make an init function and we want course we need to add self we want the name eggs flour chocolate and baking soda okay so cookie takes a lot of work okay so now do we have to write self.name self.egg self.flower no we don't all we have to do is this I'll explain what this does So what this simply does, oh sorry, what this simply does is it's basically saying, okay, for name, eggs, and flour of this cookie, just inherit them, inherit the the init call, right? We're calling like we want the name, eggs, and flour here. Inherit that from the pastry class, right? And then the chocolate and baking soda, we can do what we should have done. Self the chocolate. Chocolate self dot baking soda equals baking soda. Okay, and this is basically how you do that. So let's see if this works. Oh yes, we forgot to uh, add the stuff about chocolate and baking soda. So chocolate chip cookie, let's say two bars of chocolate and baking soda, like 0.25 uh, tablespoon, like one fourth of it. This one takes like a bit more, uh, or sorry, a bit less chocolate, but a bit more baking soda. Let's enlarge this a bit. Okay, now it should work yeah but the problem is we don't get the baking soda and we don't get the chocolate so do we need to rewrite this entire print ingredients method well 
we have to think about this efficiently, right? So what happens is if we can rewrite this, we can make a new print ingredients and it'll override the pastry. So how subclasses work is if you add the, a method with the same name, it'll override the existing method, right? So we can just copy paste this, just add our chocolate, a baking soda. But what about if we need like 20 ingredients? Do we have to write out like eggs needed, flour needed, chocolate needed, flour, like, you know, and so on and so on. We don't have to do that. Instead, let's keep track of all the ingredients in a dictionary, okay? So right here, so you have to think about this efficiently, right? So let's make a, let's make a attribute called ingredients, right? And this is always instantiated, even if it's a cookie or even if it's a brownie, because this is part of the pastry class, right? This is the parent. So we have self dot ingredients here, right? Then we can add on to this ingredients by doing self dot ingredients eggs. Let's make this capital eggs. And set it equal to the eggs that they put in. And we'll do the same thing here. With a flower, flower in cups. So the key is the name, right, of that ingredient, and the value of that key is the number of eggs or the number of cups of flour. Okay. Now here we need to use a for loop to iterate through our entire dictionary, right? So let's delete all of our print statements right now. Okay. And right now let's go through this. So the pastry multiplier is saying, num okay, so we need the pastry multiplier. Now this is unneeded because this is the part we want to make more efficient. So instead of this, let's make a for loop. For element in self dot ingredients, dot keys now what this does is this loops through all of the keys in the dictionary right for element in self dot ingredients dot keys the amount that we're going to print out is going to be self dot ingredients and then the element so the element is our key and the amount is our value right or our value multiplied by that pastry multiplier right so if you have 60 servings, so our serving says 12 for whenever we initialize things. So if you have 60 servings, 60 divided by 12 is equal to 5. So our multiplier is 5. So let's say our chocolate is 1 bar, then our chocolate will be 5 bars for a, a particular serving size of 60. Right? And now we can add our print statement right here. format the element which is the name and then the amount it's much shorter too before we had to write a lot but now this is much quicker to print your stuff and then at the top let's just write a print statement here is the recipe for blank format self dot name okay so let's run this see if it works here's our recipe for chocolate chip cookies eggs five flour in cup sandwich okay that looks about right but we still don't have our baking soda and our chocolate so what we need to do is simply use this notation here chocolate oh my god my highlighting skills ba backing soda baking soda right and then right here let's write baking soda in teaspoons or table I'm not, I'm not sure I'm just gonna say tablespoons and 
and then it's supposed to be chocolate in bars. Now let's see if this works. So what we did here is our we inherited the ingredients, right, from the pastry class, and now we're just adding on to the ingredients. Uh, and then let's let's do a new line character right here, just so we have some space. Here's the recipe for chocolate chip cookie. Eggs, flour, chocolate, baking soda. Okay, this looks right. This this looks, if I'm doing the math correctly, this looks about right. Um, you can also add different methods to the cookie. And just to show you that this works with other classes, let's make a brownie class real quick. Or uh, even a red velvet. I'm craving some red velvet cake. We're going to inherit from the pastry, and instead of chocolate, we need velvet. Right? Or, I, I think it's like, what's, what's the cream made out of? Buttermilk? I'm not exactly, okay, let's say red colored. And I, and I definitely know we, we need like some red coloring, right? So, instead of chocolate in bars, we can say red coloring. I don't know that much about cooking, so hopefully if you guys know, you can improve this. And then let's print out our brownie. So let's instant, oh sorry, not our brownie, our red velvet cake. Um, gigantic red velvet equals red velvet cake. And then gigantic red velvet I'm just gonna actually just type in random stuff or let's, let's type in the same things as the cho chocolate chip cookie 1.5 but the red velvet is like like a pinch like 0 0.1 0 0.1 and then 0.5 and then let's use the gigantic red velvet dot print ingredients and we want a serving size for 200 people it's a grand wedding and sometimes it takes a while to load oh okay and th this can usually be solved by uh looking up you can look up like a library uh, or you can convert this into like a fraction um, there are like there are like there's like this fraction library that converts it into a fraction, um, but you get the gist of it. This is subclasses inheritance. I expect you guys to understand this, even though this is probably one of the most complicated things you've learned so far. It's very similar to like a parent and child. Just think about how you a child inherits some of its properties from its parents, but there are also new properties, um, such as right here, new ingredients. Thanks for watching. I hope you understand. Um, we're going to delve into a lot of cool things after this, a lot of cool projects. Um, the Texas Adventure game is basically going to be complete now that you know classes. So good luck finishing up those projects.